Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a drawing in Autodesk Fusion 360. The first thing we want to do is come over here to our Workspace tab and select the Drawing Workspace from Design. Now, we want to create a drawing of the full assembly, which is selected here with the check mark. And this is going to be a new drawing from scratch. And if you have a template, you can browse for it here. And this is going to be an ASME standard with units and inches, and it's going to be a B-size drawing. So hit OK. And here is our drawing. Now over here on the right, you could see this drawing view window comes up. And it's asking us which orientation we want. So we're going to come and select the top orientation. And we want this to be visible edges with a scale of, I can change this to one, so full size. And we want to show tangent edges, so I'm going to click on full length and interference edges as well. And we're also going to select thread edges. So with that, I'm going to drag over my view and I'm just going to click to place it. And with it placed, I could just hit OK. And it's just going to load up that view for us. So now that view is loaded. Now I can take this and I can move it around by clicking and dragging on this point right here. And as you can see in our options, we actually made this threaded. So, so, or we decided to show the thread. So you can see that the thread is here and you can also see these interference edges. These are the interference edges. If you turn the interference edges off, you're only going to see the outer edges of the shape. So now that we've placed a view, let's come over here to projected view. We're going to click on that and we're going to click on our main view and we're just going to drag out the next view and we can right click and hit OK. And it's just going to load it up and I can just drag down this view and the second view is going to follow it. Now I can do that same thing again. I, I can come here and drag out yet another view and place it here at the top, right click and hit OK. And that's going to be very helpful for us to understand uh, what this view looks like, what the top view looks like, side view. And I'm going to, I'm going to create one more projected view and I'm just going to place this here in the corner, right click OK. You can also hit escape on the keyboard, but I like to right click and hit OK. So from here, we have our views. Now we want to set a couple dimensions here. So I'm going to come over to this dimensions tab. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to select this point here and the point across, and then I can drag out and place that dimension. Now, if I want to place a dimension from the center, I can, I can just come over to the center line, click on it, and click on this line, click on this line, and that's automatically going to generate a center line between these two lines. So let's talk about that a little bit more before we continue. Over here is a center line tool. You click on it. Now select this line and select this line of your part the outer lines of the part, and you're going to see that it generates that center line. So why do you want this? Well, because of the fact that I have a cylinder here, I want to show that cylinder. I want to denote it by using the center line. And the, uh, the great thing about this is I can come over to dimension and I can dimension from it. So I can click on it and then click on this line and set a dimension between them. And that's really helpful because this becomes my center line that I could dimension off of if I don't want to dimension the entire width of something. So that's all, all good and fine. Now we want to move on to what you do with circles and holes. We're going to come over here to center mark. And if I click on this circle, it's going to automatically place a center mark there. I could do that same thing with these two screws. And the center mark is very helpful because it shows that there's a circle or, or a um, cut extrusion or a hole or something like that. And that's really important for the viewer to know. 
So you definitely want to use your center line and center mark. That's definitely something to kind of practice with, look at, uh, have some practice using it because um, that's something that you want to lay down on your drawing really before you even put dimensions on it. You want to drag out your uh, lines here so that you can use them effectively. And you can, you can also click on this arrow and drag it, drag it out. And you can kind of drag your dimensions um, by clicking on the dimension and then you can click on this point to drag it out. So that being said, um, I wanna show uh, one more thing here that's important for details. So let's say that I wanna show a little bit more about this thread right here. What I can do is I can come to detail view, click on it, and if I click on this view, then I can, I can click down again and I can drag out this sort of circle. So I'm going to just place it here with all the default options selected and I can just drag it to right here and just right click OK and you're going to see that that creates a detail view and that's super helpful because the detail view it allows you to show a view of a projected view or of a main view and show it in a detailed way and if you double click on this, you can you can come back to your options. So I can, for instance, um, turn off interference edges and you can see that the interference edges turn off. And I can also turn off the thread edges if I really want to. So that's uh, definitely helpful. Now we modeled the thread in here, so that's the reason why it's still shown. But if you did not choose to model in your thread, then it's still going to be shown here then it's not going to be shown here. Um, and we can also choose to make this uh, shaded. So I can click here and make this a shaded view. And that's going to shade it in case I want to show a little bit more detail here. And that's very helpful. So another thing that we can do is I can add text to the drawing. So I could come over here to text and I can just kind of drag out this box and I can type in um, notes and I can say note one is uh, create a thread on the bar now in real life you may not have a note that this that's this simple but this is the way that you would input it and you can take this and you can drag it around and you can place it wherever you want so now I have a note on my drawing so I have a note right here but it's not pointing to anything no one would know where this note is is located. So what I want to do is come over here to leader and I'm going to click right here on my drawing and I can drag out this arrow and I can type in note one. And now, sorry that did not come, oh here we go. So note one. And now everyone knows that this note one is referencing this note that's down here. And that's, that's very helpful to call things out uh, specifically on the drawing. Now, one last thing I wanna show is up here, section view. I'm gonna click on section view. And what I can do is I can click on this view. And if I just take this and I place it right here on my center line, and I drag down and place this again vertically in line with that first point, then I can right click, hit continue, and you're gonna see that it drags out this view. And the really great thing about this is you can see here, it shows the detail. And if you double click here, you can actually um, change some of the options. So if I want, I can make this uh, shaded with edges. And once that loads up, you're gonna see uh, how much detail you can really get out of this. So that pretty much wraps up uh, the basics of the drawing tool. So I hope you got a lot of value out of this and best of luck with starting your first drawing. Thank you.